I did survival horror in two days, now I'm going to do just horror. I couldn't find an exact definition of what makes a horror game, so I just wrote down some common horror game tropes and I'm going to make a game that fits them. I wanted to do a unique movement system, not a trope, just something I wanted to do. I put together a top-down wheelchair movement system where you left click and drag to move forwards and backwards, and right click and drag individual wheels to turn. I made the art in Krita, and I'm just doing a minimalist pixel art style. To give a shadow effect, I duplicated the sprites, darkened them, lowered the opacity, and offset them in the set direction. I also created sound effects for the wheelchair by recording my mouse wheel spinning and my chair creaking. Now for the first trope creepy atmosphere. I made a couple floor tile variants that are randomly placed when the game is loaded to give some nice variety to the floor and make it look damaged. Then for the walls I made some brick tiles that were also randomly placed and did a pseudo 3D effect using tile maps in Godot. I made some detail elements like beds and tables that I could place around and then did some post processing by adding a vignette and a color layer set to multiply which would increase contrast and make everything look darker. I'm making this game for the Ludum Dare game jam and this one has a theme of unstable so I thought I'd go for a radiation theme since you uranium is unstable. I placed glowing green stuff around that hurts you when you get too close and made a Geiger counter by generating some click sounds and audacity and then playing them rapidly at random pitches in game. Alright, next trope, monsters. I figured I'd just do zombies, but to make them more interesting, they don't actually try to kill you, instead they are poisoned by radiation and chase you because they want water and medicine, but because they're radioactive, you take damage by being near them. Then I did some voice acting for them and it really added a lot to the atmosphere. And of course the follow-up trope is just not adding a way to fight the monsters, all you can do is run. Okay, next up, I needed a story. I made a paper note pop-up and placed them around the levels to add exposition explaining why you're here and a hint at what's going on. After that, I wanted to add a puzzle unrelated to regular gameplay. So I spent some time making a computer screen terminal where you have to turn off various systems to free up power to turn on a fire suppression system to clear out some radioactive stuff blocking the path forward. I really like how the sound design came out for this computer. I recorded myself hitting keys on my keyboard and added a bunch of reverb and then combine that with a sine wave that changes to a random pitch each time you hit a key. Finally, I just drew some simple end screen art that shows that you escaped from the hospital you were in and I was done with the game. Except for the jump scare, which I added. You'll have to find that yourself though. Link to the game in the description. I've titled it 235, but in Roman numerals so it looks cool. And it's a subtle reference to Uranium 235. Altogether, this game took about 18 hours of work, most of which I streamed on Twitch.